My name is Rachel, and apparently I can't work technology, but I have some questions for you. And all you have to do is be honest, whether you're at home or here. Raise your hand if you consider yourself to be a baby. There's a tiny, tiny hand. <laughs> there might be some tiny, tiny hands at home too. Raise your hand if you consider yourself to be a grown-up. Oh my goodness. All right, lots of hands on that one. Raise your hand if you consider yourself to be a youth. <laughs> we've got some hands and we've got an ah. Good. Raise your hand if you consider yourself to be a child. Oh, there's a few people that know my trick question. All right, so I saw a couple hands here and there, some confusion, some looking around to see what everybody else was doing, maybe to see what the pastors were doing. We were unsure. I don't know if you were sure at home. Maybe you were looking at mom and dad. Maybe you were confused looking out the window, just trying to ignore the question. In our first lesson today that Pastor Tim just read, it says, how great is the love the Father has given us so freely. That's God. Now we can be called children of God. And that's what we really are. Now I work a lot with little kids here. And I work a lot with baptisms here. And in our baptismal service, which many of you have only seen online or not even at all for a long time, we always welcome the newly baptized at the very end of the service by saying this, we welcome you into the body of Christ and into the mission we share. The body of Christ, that's God's family. We are all a part of God's family. We are all God's children, whether you know that person or not. And God loves us all the same. Praise be to God for that. All right, children, let's pray. God, we thank you that you love us so much that we get to be your kids. We look to you as our father, as our mother, as our guardian, and as our friend. Help us to be the children that you want us to be today and every day. In your name we pray. Amen.